Yo, what's happening guys? Smeedle here. Thanks for watching. It's been quite a while since <laughs> I posted anything. As you can see, I'm in a new space now. I moved to a bigger house, bigger studio. So it's been a little bit hectic here, but I'm hoping to start posting some more uh, this summer. Anyway, um, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Camilo. I'm a guitar player. Um, mostly make my living as a session guitar player. And um, hope you guys dig the content. Subscribe if, if, you, if you like it. Today we're going to talk about a certain little thing over here. Look at this. Firefly Super Strat, basically, right? So... Um, I saw these went up, these super strats, and I've I've got I've got a bunch of strats. I've got like five or six strats, and I've got a bunch of strat pickups just lying around, you know. And uh, I was curious. I went in. It was like the first badge of these that came out, and when I started reading the specs, I was kind of surprised, you know. Um, let me show you a little bit of what you get with these. Um, so you get locking tuners, right? You get a bone nut, and I mean this this neck is insane. I mean this is a really good sound, like just acoustically. I mean I don't I don't know if this will come across the video, but this is just like a really well resonant instrument, I guess, without even plugging it in. And uh, so that I mean the neck was one of the first things that just kind of caught my attention. It's a really thin kind of modern C neck. Um, so as I mentioned, locking tuners, bone nut. It's like a Canadian uh, roasted maple, I think it's called. And the body is actually mahogany. It's a roasted mahogany. Maybe that's why it's got a little different resonance thing than what I'm used to with, with just strats, right? And then uh, we've got stainless steel frets. Now, I mean, the the roll off on these frets it's incredible i mean i'll see if i can take some footage of it but i mean it's like custom shop material you know the way these fret ends are rolled it's insane um I'll, I'll again i'll mention that i paid 169 dollars for this guitar it was like 196 or something with shipping but uh i mean the attention to detail on these frets i will say they're not perfectly leveled I've got a couple of buzz notes, especially when you when you start to get up here. It's not all of them, but you know, little E flat over here is kind of clunky. Um, but I mean, I'll, I'll probably do a, a, a good leveling job on it, and, and uh, um, I really like the way this um, truss rod is adjusted. You kind of just comes with a little thing that you're just tighten and loosen. You don't have to take anything apart. It's not something that'll kind of wear off or wear down or tear down with time, which I really like. Uh, pickups are these custom Firefly Alnico 5 pickups and a humbucker on the bridge. Uh, we'll get to hear that in a little bit. This is a Korean um, custom high quality bridge. That's what they call it. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I really like, if you can see in the back over here, I'm trying to see if I can capture this on video, but it's got kind of like the little, uh, the heel of the guitar is kind of sanded in. So it's really easy access up here. Uh, that I really like. And, uh, well, that's about it. Okay, so I'll tell you what, let's, let's listen to some tones. We'll just kind of go through all the sounds of this guitar, and then I'll give you my honest opinion. I bought this guitar with my own money. And I will give you my honest opinion. Is it good? Is it bad? And who is it for? All right, so let's hear it.
All right, so conclusion. Let me tell you what I like about this guitar and what I don't like. I love this neck. I really, really, really like this neck. This neck just feels really playable. I mean, it makes you it really makes you want to play this guitar. I like the little heel thing that I mentioned earlier, you know, just the easy access up here. I love the adjustable truss rod thing here. Super easy to just tighten. Oh, so I like the color. I like the look of the guitar. I don't really see anything, you know, any uh, finish mistakes or, or anything weird. Um, what I was hoping to get out of this guitar, honestly, I as I mentioned, I had a couple of pickups lying around and I just wanted to get a, a guitar to just throw the pickups into. So I was just hoping to get a good sounding chunk of wood. That's all I was hoping for, you know? I'm ready. I was ready to replace, you know, tuners and bridges and pickups and wiring. So now I did take this apart. Uh, the the wire on the pickup, as you can see, is it's a good good wire. You know, like that kind of like vintage threaded wire. Um, I've had the guitar for a little bit over a month now, so I think uh, I'm gonna tweak it a little bit more since uh, you know I I set it up and then the guitar kind of settles to the climate of the studio and it shifts a little bit here and there, especially now here in Florida, we're in the summer, so I'm constantly tweaking my guitars. That's kind of my thing here. Um, the tuners were, you know, sp specifically the B string, the, the tuner on the B string was like super hard to turn at first, but it actually, it actually works fine now. Um, the guitar, I, like I said, I still have to go back and tweak the, the setup a little bit. It, Kind of holds tune all right, unless I start kind of banging away at really big bends or, or the whammy bar. So I'm going to try to fix the setup. If I can't get it to stay in tune, um, as much as I would want, to, want it to stay in tune, I'm probably going to replace, um, you know, the tuners. The The bone nut is, is uh, fine. It's filed pr fairly well. No complaints there. The pickups I'm gonna I'm gonna change. To be honest with you, I, I think the little the pickups are a little bit underwhelming. Um, I already have a neck and a and a and a middle that I'm gonna throw on this, and I'll probably just buy a, a bridge. Knobs are fine. None of this feels cheap at all. It feels good. I'll probably replace the jack, the output jack, because sometimes I. You know, this is kind of like my test for a cheap output jack. My, I have one of these uh, muted guitar cables, whatever they, whatever they're called, where you kind of unplug it and it mutes. And for some reason, whenever I have a guitar that's got a cheap output jack, it there's no sound. So I actually have to plug the other side of the cable into this. So I've got a bunch of those Switchcraft um, output jacks. So really, I mean, I'm I'm replacing just the output jack. I'm replacing the pickups. I'm gonna level the frets. Right? I don't have to do anything to the ends. The ends are really impeccable. So I'm just going to do some leveling up here. It feels fine up here, but I'll, I'll know a little bit better once I get in there with a fret rucker. Um, nut feels fine. Tuners, TBD, right? If I can't get... Uh, one of the things I did notice is once I added strings, I changed the strings on this, I put tens and the bridge kind of went down the, just a little bit. I can't dive bomb on this guitar. If you notice, if I try to dive bomb, it kind of, the, the bridge is literally hitting the wood. So I may add another spring to see, but I mean, I, I'm not really a dive bomb guy with a Strat anyway. So um, that's pretty much it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, I hope you guys dug this video. I will say, I'm not very familiar with uh, Firefly and their quality control. I can't say that all of their guitars are like this. I can only speak for I can speak for this particular one. As I said, I bought this one myself. They didn't send it to me. It, I, there, I have no reason to believe that they would have picked out a good one to send to me. I just bought the one that I bought, you know. So uh, anyway, that's it. Hope you guys dug this video. Hope it was helpful. If you haven't subscribed, uh, consider subscribing. And uh, I actually did get a telly from them that they did send me. Um, so that's going to be the next video that I'm that I'm going to be doing. So I paid for this one. They sent me that one. So stick around for that one. I'll hopefully do it uh, next next coming coming weeks or whatever. But anyway, guys, stay safe, stay cool. See you around.